was much needed. Sorry for lying to y'all. Sorry, I slept so long today to see if I still wake up. I stayed asleep so long. See if I still feel all go first in the stream. He's the first one in the stream, first one to like. Hall go for the win. I could not wake up. I slept so long. Hello. Hello, Bacon. Hello, hello, Bacon. I slept so long it was crazy. I didn't even mean to do it. No, I didn't. No, 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 I didn't. No, 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 I didn't. <sighs> My head hurts. I'm sorry your head hurts. Oh, it was super good nap. Super good nap, Hoggo. Super, super good nap. <sighs> I'm trying to get all awake and stuff. Bro, I've been a uh, sick for a long, for so long. So tell me about you. Um, what do you want to know about me? I'll tell you whatever you want. I'm just a man chilling out. Nothing too exciting. No, no, no. I just been getting on live and whatnot. It's been a good time. I am on computer today. Nice. Hello, how are ya? Oh man. Hello there, what's up, Sar Nichols? Uh, no, I'm not sad. No, um, last stream I got off because I said I was going to take a nap, so I'm like, you know when you wake up from a nap and you're just kind of, 
Like, not all there yet. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like I'm just not all there. Ooh, I'm a tired man. I just realized that I looked at this puck. And it says, Made in Slovakia. It's official. It's made in Slovakia. Uh, yeah, not sad. How are you? Game said hi. Whoa. Sar said hello there. Stuart said, Hey, I got a creepy question. Do you know? Uh, and you answering. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Will be the answer. Oh, no, no, no. no. Will be the answer. I. Do you know Wizwell? What does that mean, Stuart? What? Hey, I got a creepy question. And you answering, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Will be the answer I want. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. That's my name. Do you know Wizwell? I don't know Wizwell. What does that mean? Sorry about that. Is Wizwell a person or is that a music artist? Because you want me to go, nah, nah, nah. Game said hi. What up, game? Sar says, you tired? Yeah, I was tired earlier. I mean, I woke up from a nap. I'm not too tired now. I'm just kind of like trying to get back where I'm at. As soon as I woke up, I freaking got on here. Let you guys know what's up. Jenna says, yeah, I know about that. Yeah. I got a new computer mouse. Nice. Is it a good one for gaming? Or I assume since you're the game. As a great man from Star Wars would say, hello there. Who's the great man from Star Wars, Holgo? Which is the great man from Star Wars that says hello there? Don't forget to like the stream. Is Wiz what is Wizwall? Is it a person? Wizwall? I don't know, Wizwall. Nice, I got a new mouse pad. Oh, a new mouse pad. Nice. <coughs> had the same mouse since sixth grade, I think. Holy cow. How's it going, Cookie Master? <sighs> Going through a breakup right now, so just going. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. I 
How long have you guys been seeing me? Uh, I'm sorry to hear that happened. Okay, that's the... Okay, that answers the question. If you don't recognize the name, that's a good answer, too. I'm sorry to hear that. <coughs> Moose said, um, I'm so tired, but I need to watch my little brother. Yeah. Watching people is good. Oh, sorry, Game Master. Is it Logitech? I just got it. It is Logitech. I just got it from my dad. Nice. I was just trying to figure out how we've might have met because I because your smooth face looks familiar. Oh no! If you've been up to Washington, you, there's uh, maybe a good chance. I mean, I'm outgoing. I like talking to random people. I know a lot of people out in Washington State, and then out of uh, also Hawaii. If you lived in Hawaii, I I know a lot of people from Hawaii. You may see me pretty wasted in Hawaii, though. I used to be not good into the alcohol. But now I am doing really good with alcohol. It reminds me of something. What reminds you of something? Janet. Obi-Wan Kenobi. I love how you spelled Obi-Wan Kenobi because I didn't know how, what that word was until I like said it and I was like, oh, that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. <coughs> Does anyone else play Infinite Craft? Me. Three months away from a year, baking outdoors. Can I tell you? Can I call you bacon? Oh, then maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, I got really big into... I kind of went a little viral on Snapchat. I got really big into Snapchat. So maybe if you did Snapchat or also Instagram, I got really big into Instagram. I don't know. <sighs> wow. Three freaking a whole year and somewhat months. Wow, dang, that is a long relationship. And yes, game master. The game said, "How many times do you have bacon from the Tri Cities area?" Bacon said. <laughs> I had 80, I think. I'm going uh, to be playing games like Roblox while listening to Baga. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I got to make up a poll. I started grinding. I'm playing right now. And I have 900. What the heck? You started dancing? You started grinding? <coughs> I see you whining and grinding up on the pole. I started grinding. Nice. Uh, are you almost ready to do your push-ups? Oh, wait, six likes. What do you mean? 
I'm doing push-ups with six likes. You call me a peasant? I'm just kidding. or Snapchat, it might be Deja Vu as well. I like Deja Vu. Deja Vu is cool. Oh my god, Game Master. Stuart, that's a lot of items, Greg, Game Master. Anthony, do you, oh wait, Anthony said Tri-Cities area? Wait, you're from the Tri-Cities area? <coughs> Tri-Cities area, nice. Game said, oh, no, no, no. Anthony said, how do you, I like, uh, I like the Tricities area, been there a couple times, um, Walla Walla, there's a whole bunch of onions that come from there that are delicious, Walla Walla onions, Walla Walla ding dong, <laughs> Man, it gets hot down there, Anthony. She well, Anthony. Well, Anthony. I think uh if you stay on the stream for a long time and we end up becoming cool, you might be the first one out of everybody here. I meet in a meet and greet. Because everybody else is from kind of really far away. <clears throat> oh, in the Mariners? <coughs> I'm going to be honest, bro. I like this hat a lot. And uh, I went to a game... Well, I think it was last year. I'd have to look exactly when I posted the post. But I don't really know much about them. To be 100% Frankie Hot Dogs. I don't know. I don't really know much about them. I mean, I knew about them a lot when I was growing up. I was a huge fan of Arthur Rhodes and Lou Pinella, the guy that was always doing crazy stuff as a coach. And of course, Ichiro. Ichiro, and then uh, also Randy Johnson be throwing heaters. What is success? Does it play a part in how you define success? Um. Hmm. I guess I would say success is uh is all about the context. And I think it could be every anything, you know, like it just depends on what it is, you know, because like I don't think that there's a generalized for success. Like you could say, are you, are you six is, are you a success at making money? And you could be like, yes or no specifically for that. Are you successful at owning a house? You could say yes or no for that. Are you, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's uh it's more of like, 
has to be a subject when you talk about it, if that makes sense. <coughs> if that makes any sense. But yeah, I feel like it's uh, more of the subject. I think you can be successful in anything. I mean, I've, like, are you successful in reading books? Yes or no? I know the word professional. Is usually about income, like, have you made income at that? My kind of weather, oh, you like it extra hot? It gets hot. Hot where I live at. Where, where, uh, oh, duh. I mean, I guess you don't have to say where you live at, but, um, uh, how hot? <laughs> That's funny. I just say where do you live? <laughs> oh, what state, like, specifically, Bacon? What do you, what do you mean when you say it gets hot where you're at? Like, what state are you in? What? Bacon, what? I mean, uh, Holga, what does that mean? You said, oh, yes, bacon, the thing that has been a monopoly since 55. I know what a monopoly is, but what do you mean? Wait, is that a joke I'm not getting? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what, do you, what do you mean? What do you mean? I'm trying to figure, what do you mean? How, like, there's a specific brand of onions that has been a monopoly, like the onions from Walla Walla, or like, <coughs> what do you mean? Yeah, that would be cool. Stuart said, yo, what a privilege to me, Shadow Lord Baga. I'm a Shadow Lord? No, I thought it was for the good side. I wanted to be Lord of the Light. Lord as is short for landlord. If you if you're called a lord if you own property in certain places. No. Isn't every stream kind of meet and greet? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <coughs> like in person, I feel like it's more of a different thing. Just got McPhail in Infinity Craft. I have no idea what that sentence means. I'm sure Infinity Craft is a game, and McPhail is maybe either an item or a, a an achievement. I don't know. It is New Mexico. What? Dude. New Mexico. Bacon, New Mexico. Dude, you live in the same state as somebody else in the comment section. That's pretty wild. Pretty crazy. Whether you can make money or not on what you feel accomplished at. Cool. Yeah, I would say that too. That's a good idea. I was... 
I thought you were saying like what is success as in like I was I guess I was thinking too in depth, but yeah. That's a good one. Shadow Lord Bear Guy, Keeper of the Bonfire, Leader of the Fire, Watchers, Tamer of the Cat, Josie, Befriended of Crows. Yeah, well, I want to get enough crows I can, like, tie their, uh, something around their ankle, and then they could all, like, lift me off the ground or something, you know what I mean? Very right, cool. What is the best crayon color person in the That's weird. Hello. What does that mean? Who's... Stuart, did you notice that guy that came up and talked to me on the bike? He said he, said he bought that freaking... He bought that bug from, uh, uh, well, it's a, it's a car. I guess I didn't show you guys the car. But he said he bought it from a guy named Gallagher. I think he said, like, Richard Gallagher or something like that. I'm like, I know a Gallagher. <laughs> Ooh, I was an army man. <laughs> Uh, favorite color of crayon. I'm going to say my favorite color of crayon isn't because of the color. I'm going to say my favorite color of crayon is because of the name. And I totally remember there was this color that I would always laugh just reading. And there's a, growing up, the uh, crayon that was called Tickle Me Pink. And I thought it was the funniest little thing ever. It was like, who names a thing that big like Tickle Me Pink? Stewart said, white crayon, supposedly useless, but it's all about how you use it. Yeah, that's totally true. It's not the size. It's how you use it. You know what I'm saying? I heard that before. <laughs> My dad always told me that. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's messed up. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's not get dark. Let's not get dark. Um, um I was... Go. What what did I miss? Did I miss something? What do you mean a debate on you were a marine? Nah, white doesn't taste that good. I was a marine also. I feel like you're also an RGU. But... Purple's my favorite color. Well, I'm the most I guess respectful respected one. For your service at Dead Man. Said Anthony. Anthony, what up? What up, Anthony? How you doing? Red. I'll go say it. How so? Red is just feels okay. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna start skipping over the comments that are just. I don't want to really just say out loud. It's just weird. So I'm gonna skip over those comments. No disrespect, but I don't want to be all. Saying some of that stuff. Like, I don't want to be talking about toxic things. Literally, like, not toxic mood. I mean, like, I don't want to be talking about, like, eating that. Like, that's not... I don't want to, like, have that be on here. Because, like I said, it doesn't show the chat in live. It just shows me talking. So, I don't really want people to just hear me say that. I don't know, man. Hello, I'm new. How you doing? I'm doing really good. How you doing, unknown? How you doing, unknown? Hello, unknown. Hello, unknown. Welcome to... I declare known. I declare kites. Hello, unknown. Welcome to I declare kites. I don't know what that means. 
Stewart said, yeah, I remember that guy. I shouldn't have any Gallagher's other family in Washington. That's pretty wild. Hi, I just came. How are you, Kate? Anthony said, thanks for your service, Berga. Thank you for saying that. Bunch Branch is serving the good old army. Hey, Kate. Said Halgo. Halgo. All right, what kind of toast? Dead man said, dang, streams are really laggy today. One of the best Austin Power jokes. It's not the size of your mini that matters. It's the size of how you, it's how you use it. I love Austin Powers, bro. I grew up and watched all of them, bro. I love Austin Powers, bro. Yeah. I sure do. Bacon said his phone died. <coughs> Um, I think my favorite one was, I think it was number two. No, I maybe number one. But it's where they're <clears throat> on the side of like a riverbank inside of a tent. And there's a shadow of them inside of the tent. And uh, they're like passing each other stuff. And it looks like she's grabbing it out of his behind. And it's so funny. Look at the shadows. It's so funny. She grabs like a huge thing. And it's just so funny. Stay stay safe, dudes. Gotta head out. All right. Sounds good. Dead man said leg. Oh, what's wrong with your leg? Oh, wow. Two people retracted their messages right away. Wow. You guys must have been talking bad to each other. And then uh, we're like, uh, we'll settle this later on the hockey rink when we throw down our gloves. I'm like, oh, sheesh. You guys are nice. Anthony said, absolutely. What's up, Anthony? You got any questions for me? Let me know. <clears throat> I have never seen this much RGU in one comment section. It's pretty wild, bro. There is a lot of RGU. It's like... It's pretty crazy. Is attractiveness a culture or construct? I talking about like magnetic poles? Like positive and negative or something? Or are you talking about like looks? Oh, if it has to do with looks, I feel like uh, it's a definitely cultural. You know, some people like certain things and I kind of think they they uh, they definitely because uh, you know when you're born before you hit puberty, you don't even really like girls. Then you hit puberty and that's like all you want to look at. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But for real. Not really want to listen, but you want to look. No, I'm just kidding. I'm joking. I'm totally joking. Uh, Dead Man said, no, Commander, it is not. I don't know what we're talking about. All right. RGU came out of the woodworks tonight. What happened? I just got here. Um, I'm just replying to everybody's comment and uh, just reading down. That's what I'm doing. Uh, same here. Pretty funny. And what's... Okay. Liam said bye. Kate for card says... 
Yeah, it's a bit. La 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 la. When I popped off and Nigger gave me just a little bit of log jaw. Um, Bacon said bye. I mean, Dead Man said bye. See you later. Liam said bye. Oh, RG must be having to get off. See you guys later. Bacon, I think that I should go to bed. All right. See you later. Why, Bacon? It's only midnight here. Yep. Okay. Spotted you a mile away, RG. I know you guys were the same person. Uh, Anthony, it's been a while since I've seen those movies. They're pretty good. Anthony, what's your favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? Yeah, why bacon? Said Holgo. It's 1010 for me. Kate for card said same. You guys are two hour difference from me. For me, it is. You guys are one hour difference for me. For me, it is 913. Stuart said, that was such a good gag, pulling items from the duffel bag that definitely wouldn't fit. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's what made it funnier, too, the duffel bag. Dude, like, no way that it fit. Dude, one of my favorite songs ever is actually from that movie. It's uh, when he's on top of the bus riding through the town, and he's like, what? What'd you get when... No, no. That's what you get when you fall in love. I never want to fall in love. Dude, that's such a good song. I'm never going to fall in love. Such a good song, bro. Bro, that takes me back to the day, bro. Like, not the exact day, but... Man, watching those movies and listening to those tunes is such a good time. Man. I'm not gonna lie, like, there's not many movies that have came out with a, <laughs> another one of the movies, like, way later on. <laughs> and boy, did I... I loved that one, though. I really did. I loved uh I loved what they did in number three, dude, with Gold Member. When they came out with that one years later, I was like, oh please don't ruin it, please don't ruin it, please don't ruin it. They came out, I was like so happy. I was like, bro, Gold Member's character was like so iconic. He's all skating and just lifts up one leg and still skating, lifts up both legs, like just obviously impossible because his legs are off the ground and he's hasn't fell. Like I'm toy. I'm toy like a toy <laughs> Dude, and he's like, you want a pipe and a crit? A bong and a blintz? A cigarette and a flapjack? <laughs> dude, that guy. Dude. No, cigar and waffle? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> he just keeps going. I'm Foxy. I'm Foxy Cleopatra. Um... That one character, his name is Fat Bastard. He like runs and jumps and tries to jump over the whole pool, and then he just shoots his wire and he's just hanging. He's like, okay, here we go. Oh, 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 uh, here we go. Anytime now. Let me spin around. <laughs> Austin Powers is just hiding in his freaking that little bin, and he's good with it until. That bastard puts his under his uh his little like thing that he wears on him. He's like, oh, oh, you really are a fat bastard. <laughs> Damn, I really should sleep more. Oh, okay, sounds good, dead man. Anthony, did you subscribe? Yeah, good. We will not have to court martial Anthony. Thank you. Cat said, hi, baby, no money. You guys know baby, no money? Oh, yeah, dude. He's such a good one. Oh, man. I like him. I like him a lot. Okay, for card says, I'm going to have to sleep soon, but I will leave with a joke. Okay. That I'm a cool person. Oh, gave myself a zinger. 
What a joke. Jack Nevis is definitely a cultural construct. The peak of beauty used to be bigger is better. I don't want to live there. <laughs> oh, God. Actually, maybe I would want to live there if bigger is better. Because, uh, I don't know, maybe I get a... I'll be dating all the ugly chicks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be like, <laughs> there's like some small girls who are like, oh, I'm so ugly. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I have to be with a small chick. No. <laughs> I want to travel at those times. Time travel just... Just chill with the, with the smallest chick. No, I'm just kidding, but that's funny. Well, yeah, 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 you guys, you guys just... No, you have her. Yeah, yeah. Like, like you, dude, you go out, you go out and hang out with your friend, and, like, she... And then, like, you hang out with, like, a girl, they bring their, like, girlfriend along, and uh, he's like, bro, can I go for the bigger one? And you're like, oh, yeah, dude. Dude, yeah. No, bro, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll be the wingman this time, bro. I'll go for the... I'll go for the uglier one. I'll go for the uglier one. And uh, yeah, dude, yeah, you have the bigger one. <laughs> dude, that'd, be so, that'd be a really good bit on TV. Uh, makes it uh, easier to make babies without suffering. Now skinny is considered more attractive. Okay. I just, uh, I, I think it's just because of the, like, the living thing. When you're, when you're smaller, it's like, it's usually more of a, like, a health thing. It's like, health risk when you get older like diabetes and stuff like that's kind of sad watching someone go through all that ace ventura pet detective oh wee dude that's a good one i liked all of those ones too those ones were good i was really hoping they were going to come out with a third one but then they came out with one with like a kid and i was like come on man they needed a third one of ace ventura i don't know what they would call it but dude trilogy life trilogy life Kate for cards, her joke is retracted twice. Wow. Kate, what is wrong? She's retracted three messages so far. Damn, I'd skinny is attractive. I'm one of the most attractive. Oh, that's funny. And home loan one and two. Ooh, those were fire. My favorite part of uh, Aventura, just because it was so random, is when he's driving on a flat road, and he's just, like, bobbing his head, and then it zooms out, and it shows the guy next to him. But then when they go off-road, and it's crazy, he's, like, straight. <laughs> I thought that was so funny, dude. Uh, well, maybe not one of the best. I mean, not the best, but maybe one of them. Or then the other one where... Uh, Dude, he comes out of the rhinoc rhinoceros' butt, and the people are, like, taking pictures, and they think he's giving birth. He's like, <laughs> Dude, that's so good. Dead man said, if, if what, if what, Kate, bye, Kate. They're supposed to say, dad who? What does that mean? What do you mean, dad who? It travels, Kate. Also, liar, liar. Who's a liar, liar? What are you talking about? A smoke and a pancake. A bong and a blintz. Flapjack and a waffle. Cigar and a crepe. Dude, that was so good. Like, eats his skin. <laughs> like, what a weirdo. <laughs> oh, and then Home Alone 1 and 2. Yeah, those were good. I'm not going to lie, dude. It got really probably not good reviews because it didn't have Macaulay Culkin. But I even got down to uh, Home Alone 3. I like. I even liked Home Alone 3. Who dare? I am just drunk. Or did I, you remove your comments about leaving? Anthony said, who dare? I'm right here, Anthony. A lot of a lot of people comment the same thing. I can smell RGU in the air tonight. And I know, I know Stuart can too, but it's okay because I don't care if he's here. He's just gotta just be respectful, is all. 
I've already taken out probably 70 of his accounts. He only has like 25 more, so he's down to the wire. He's trying to save these last accounts for special occasions, I guess. Uh, bye, guys, for now. See you later, B A C O N. You're a con. You're a con, and it's in your name, Bacon. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, uh, bye, bye. Uh, Dead Men's Budge, Safe Travels Bacon. Robert said, Knock, knock. Robert just comes in. I've never seen that name, and for some reason, he just knows that there's a uh, knows that this says jokes. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? It's a uh, I can smell all to you in the air tonight. Hell, Lord. See you, Bacon. Who's there? Who dare? Dad. Uh, Dead Man said, okay. Kate for cards. Who's supposed... I'm too sleep deprived to realize much... Of anything right now, Kate. Kate for cards. They're supposed to say, Dad, who? Anthony said, also, Dumb and Dumber. Ooh! Dumb and Dumber, dude. Name drop. Dad, who? Dad, who? Dad, who? Dad, who, Kate? You better hear me. No, I'm just kidding. Kate just disappeared. She's like, you guys aren't going to go by my jokes the way I say it. Then I'm not. Also, Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber is good. What did you guys think about the version of it when they were younger and it was called a Dumb and Dumber? Er. And did you like the reboot movie they did with Jim Carrey? It was called Dumb and Dumber 2, I think. I think it was Dumb and Dumber too. It was when they were like a lot older. Like pulls his catheter out. <laughs> dude, that was so funny. He's like leaning back, pulling on his catheter. Dude, that is so funny. Anthony says, yes, yeah, super funny. Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. But Nature Calls. So there was a third one they came out with and it was like a kid. He was like a... Maybe like 10 or something. And he didn't even look like Ace Ventura. They tried to dress him up like him, but it didn't look like him at all. I want to say it was even like a Disney Channel movie or something. Maybe it wasn't Disney Channel, but I don't know, man. It's kind of strange. Anthony said, Dad, who? Stuart said, Dad, who? The movie. The movie for what? Oh, Liar, Liar, the movie, bro. Yeah. Such a good movie. Dead Man said, what RG do? Uh, I don't know who RG, RG is. My bad. Uh, Holgo said, Michael Johnson said, yeah. How's it going? He was really creepy and would ask people for their addresses and would be very inappropriate. Yeah, dude. It's kind of gross. Liar Liar is a movie with Jim Carrey. If you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. Nice. I love that movie. Where he like beats himself up inside of the bathroom. Uh, yeah, dude. Astronomy compels a soul to look up. Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to put that down there. There you go. There's a pinned message. <laughs> Write it down on the calendar. Because Commanderson's just got it. Dead man said, oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Michael Johnson said, Yeah! Algo said, 
Hey, Michael. Anthony says, I liked it. Dead man said, I'm all, I'm out of Jagger now. I'm not even sure what that means, my friend. Stewart said, sad face, dead man, no more. Dead man floats. I'm not too sure what that means either. Jim Carrey is such a great actor. Oh, man, dude. I don't know. Stuart, can you smell it, too? Do you smell how much freaking RGU is in the comments? It's, like, kind of blowing my mind. I think, uh, I think I smell it in the air. I don't even suffer from paranoia. That's the purple guy. I'm sorry you guys made me do it. I do no more than one every ten minutes. <laughs> Scares away my other new people. Yeah, thank you, Wolf. Thanks for coming in, Wolf. Jim Carrey and Adam Sandler, some of my favorite actors. Oh, so you don't even like acting. You just like comedians, because those are definitely comedians. I, I would put comedians and actors in different, uh, different realms. I feel like they're totally different, because uh, I don't know. I guess they're all technically acting. Yeah. <laughs> but man, comedians are freaking funny. Sewer said, Yay, I got another quote. I got another quote. And neener, neener, neener to everybody else. I got another quote. And Michael said, I love Liar Liar. Dude, that's a good one, my guy. Good one, my guy. I love it. Don't worry, Gallagher. I still have some fireball. I thought you were talking about me for a second. I was like, no, man, that was all gone. And that's what I was ordering. <laughs> Hoggo says, oh! Jagger. His alcohol. I don't know the alcohol named Jagger. Um... I had a friend named uh, Olden Jagger, and I also had a, uh, his mom was like the, he went to a different school than me, but he went, his, uh, his mom was like the, uh, like haircutting lady around town. She like, like cut everybody's hair, like in like three different cities. Everybody loved going to her. She was great. You could tell I haven't been in a while, but. Yeah, I did. It was fantastical. Fantastical. <laughs> um, Jagger. I know Mick Jagger, lead singer of Rolling Stones. What else is there? I thought you were talking about one of my favorite things, D. And it's uh, you guys want to check it out? It's delicious. It's a type of style of of a beef stick. Um, what's another word? Uh, beef jerky stick. It's called a land. Jagger, check it out. Go to Google and check it out. I don't. It's just a little bit wider and and, and shorter. A lot of the times, it's made out of uh, like better meat. I've heard, and sometimes they even put like some cheese in it and stuff. But it's very delicious. Go to Google, please. Go to Google Images and look up Land Jagger and um, try one sometime. It's really really good. Uh, Dead man floats is a little jagger coke and vanilla ice cream wow so you can't snort the coke anymore because it's like on ice cream so it would like dissolve into it and then like oh do you put it on top of the land jagger and do it huh that's interesting Sounds uh, sounds like something I can't try. <laughs> I would uh, I don't know, my my freaking my heart would probably explode. I don't know. I'll have to try Dead Man Floats, I guess. Oh yeah, dude, Dead Man, try it out. 
Um, what was it called? Uh, Dead Man's Chest. Dead Man's Chest is a pretty good one. That's uh, what was that? The the second one of uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Was it? Was that what it was? The second one of the Pirates of the Caribbean. I think it was called Dead Man's Chest or something like that. Where they brought out the octopus face dude. Uh, Anthony said they are actors. Yeah, I know they were actors. I'm saying like, I always, I always like look at them in such different categories, just comedians in general, because uh, I always look at comedians as like people that do like stand up comedy and then they go into acting. And uh, dude, they were re- both fantastic. Dude, Adam Sandler is, um, because I like watching stand-up comedy, and Adam Sandler, his original stuff, especially, like, Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live isn't really, I want to say it's not really, like, a stand-up comedy, but kind of it is, because, I don't know, it's weird, because they're, like, skits, so it's, like, kind of stand-up comedy, but also, like, acting at the same time, it's almost like mini plays, you know, but, um, man, he was so good back in the day, and then, um, Jim Carrey, bro, he is such a weird guy. He does uh he does uh stand up comedy back in the day. He actually started with stand up comedy and bro, he is weird, like throwing himself on the ground, but like just being wild. He's a crazy guy. But I, I like him. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really like him. But when I think of an actor, I just think of that's something that they only do, you know what I mean? Like, uh, let me think of one. I would say like, like, a, like a Brad Pitt or like, uh, like Matthew McConaughey or like, um, I don't know. There's like types like that. I don't know people, but yeah, but like, um, I always think a comedian's a little bit different because, and what I mean by that is like actors they always like bring you into like so many different emotions, but I feel like comedians, it's like, you always get this like sense of like joy out of watching them in movies. It's like, I don't think I've ever watched a Jim Carrey movie or an Adam Sandler movie without laughing at least multiple times or just feeling good. They, for some reason, their movies always end up like super feel good movies. Like I really like them. Another good Jim Carrey movie. That's just a really good feel good movie, but also Hilarious is, uh, have you guys seen the movie Yes Man? Yes Man, it was so good. When that movie came out, I watched it so many times. I bought it on DVD and I just watched it so many times. I love that movie. What's another one? Uh, oh man, dude. If you guys like superhero stuff, though, shoot. Go watch Batman from the 90s. Tim Burton. With Two-Face, it might even be called Batman Returns. I don't know which one it is. But the Riddler is in it. And it is so, so funny. And Jim Carrey plays the Riddler. And it is so, so funny. He is just a goofball, man. What a goofball. And his name is called uh, Edward Nigma. I think... I hopefully in the movie they called him that too because Riddler's real name is actually Edward Nigma, and I just know that because I'm a I'm a DC fan. But Edward Nigma, well, they're actors. Uh, I want to see all the new horror movies and new Ghostbusters. Uh, Wolf, uh, be more specific. What um. What specific ones are you talking about for uh, horror movies? I didn't even know that there um, were more horror movies coming out. Um, I did see the trailer for the new Ghostbusters, and that looks like it's going to be better than the old one. The old one kind of looked not good. I didn't even want to watch it. All new actors and stuff. Wasn't too wanting to do that. But I did see that they're bringing back Bill Murray. Hopefully Dan Aykroyd's coming back. So if like I I mean if the whole original cast is coming back, that would be pretty cool. Because I definitely was a fan of the original ones. <clears throat> and I think there wasn't there like a Ghostbusters of all girls? Like 
I think so. It's, but that's just not something I'm into. Anytime I see a cast of girls, I always just assume it's going to be kind of like a chick flick. So I just, I never really watch movies like that because I'm, I don't know. I mean, I like chick flicks if it's specifically a chick flick. Like, uh, I don't even know why I'm telling you guys this, but you guys might not like me after this. I like chick flicks. Like, when they're supposed to be chick flicks, like the movie, uh, I really like the movie Mean Girls. That's a that's a pretty funny movie. I don't know about now. I liked it when I was like in high school and middle school and stuff like that. And I really liked the movie. Uh, there's one called Hot Chick, and it was with uh, Rob Schneider, and he switches places with like a cheerleader, like uh, just brains. And it's really, really funny. And then, uh, what was another one? Ooh, I think my favorite chick flick, it's called, uh, it's called White Chicks. That's a really funny one. I really like the movie White Chicks. And I also like this other one called Miss Congeniality. That's a pretty good one, too. That's with, uh, Sandra Bullock. Uh, Gallagher said, I'll try... That when I turn 21, uh, Jagger, nice. Uh, Jaggermeister is the licorice alcohol used to make Jagger Bombs with Red Bull. <clears throat> Jagger Bombs, nice. That sounds cool. It's almost like Mick Jagger's. What do, what do, you, use, what do you call it when Mick Jagger throws a bomb into the audience? Um, a Jagger Bomb. No, I'm just joking. Jagger is short for Jaggermeister. Nice, dead man. Anthony said, Tommy Boy and Black Sheep with David Spade and Chris Farley are also some of my favorites. Bro, Anthony, I love Chris Farley, dude. Oh, my gosh. If you like Chris Farley, there's this one movie he did that, um... It didn't really catch too much traction, but it was really, really funny. If you ever get a chance to watch a movie called Beverly Hills Ninja, please do it, dude. He is so funny. Uh, Chris Rock. Yeah, it's Chris Rock, bro. Chris Rock and, uh, and Chris Farley. The two Chris's. I didn't even realize that. But it's pretty freaking funny. And, uh... It is really good. Yeah, it's it's really, really good. I really I'm a big Chris Farley fan. Rest in peace. And another one, like before Chris Farley, there was a guy named uh John Belushi. And he was in this movie called uh Animal. Animal House. Yeah. I actually have a poster of him in Animal House wearing his college sweatshirt. I'm mean, not a poster, a painting. It's pretty good. Jagger is short for Jaggermeister. Okay. Pirates of the Caribbean. I got a jar of dirt. And guess what's inside? <laughs> yeah, dude. He's running around. I got dirt. I got dirt. Yeah, dude. Let me guess. Some dirt. Yeah. They were legends on SNL. Yeah, dude. Yeah, Anthony. They were definitely legends. I loved them. Yeah, dude, SNL, dude, especially like Chris Farley, too, down by the river, like, hey, what a crazy guy, have you not watched Pirates of the Caribbean movies, Dead Man, I think it's called like Dead Man's Chest, right, and wasn't it like uh, the heart of Davy Jones or something like that, nope, I have not, Dead Man, I don't watch my movies. I don't watch any movies. Okay. Well, that's really cool. You know? I got jar door. I got jar door. Anthony, exactly. Yes, man. It was a great a lesson on saying no. Yeah. 
<laughs> I don't know. I would say there's multiple messages in that movie. Definitely a lesson of saying no, but I think what I got out of it most was uh, he started out as a guy that didn't do anything, kind of depressed, sitting around, doing nothing, and uh, kind of breaking out of your shell. I think that was a big part of it, too. Like, he was the guy that always told no to his friends, like, no, nah, sorry, I can't come over. No, nah, I can't. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I I think it was, I think a lot of it was, like, breaking out of your shell. Um, also, like, the lesson of, like, Saying no, you don't know, you uh, lose a lot of experiences. And I think it has to do a lot also with that. Like, you know, you sometimes just just take that leap and say yes and go, and go try something new, you know. Try to experience something. And and before that, like, it, you know, you kind of seen all the experiences you got to do. And if he didn't do it, he, then he would have just never experienced it. And some of them were pretty rad like you remember that uh, that uh halloween party he went to and then uh, he shows up on the moped and he's like i mean in the car and he just has like all of these red bulls and he's, you know, what was it called like a red bull drinking party or something like that dude <laughs> love that movie anders does vastness of space impact the way you perceive yourself um yeah, yeah, definitely. Dude, I see myself differently if I just go up on a big hill and I see a lot of people down there that look small. I'm like, wow, we're like the size of ants. Yeah, the vastness of space definitely makes me feel more in insignificant. Definitely. Dead man said no. Dead man should. Uh, dead man should be a mod. Uh, okay, well. Yeah, dude, yeah, get a channel and go live and make them a mod, dude. That's awesome. No, I should I'm constantly not here. I am not here consistently. Okay. Melissa McCarthy was in that one. She's a good actress. Melissa McCarthy was in what one? What one? I remember Melissa McCarthy in a movie called The Heat. And uh, some other ones. But uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know which one specifically. You gotta give me some context. Yeah, yeah. Stuart said, I like chick flicks when I watched them with my girlfriends. Girls' nights in were awesome. Yeah, man. I like them because I have an older sister. My sister's eight years older than me. And so growing up, I used to watch all of them with her. And, uh, yeah. And uh, my sister, she was a drama girl. Like, she, like, not, oh, well, that's a weird way to say it. Because, like, not, not drama comedies. I mean, like, in high school, she took drama classes. And she even was in, like, multiple plays and stuff like that. But, um, so I actually got a lot into musicals. I watched a lot of musicals. And her used to be able to recite every word of the movie Grease back in the day. And, um, yeah, she we watched that countless times. We love the movie Grease. And uh, the movie Fiddler on the Roof. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, dude. <clears throat> My all-time favorite musical, Oliver Twist. Oh, yeah, dude. You got to pick a pocket, oh, do you got to pick a pocket, oh, do ooh, ooh, ooh. you got to pick a pocket, oh, do <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's so good. Oh, uh, Finnegan, dude, and Sykes. Oh, dude, yeah. Sorry, I forgot we were not supposed to swear. It's okay, it's okay. You got to get the guider's handbook. And the next thing you know, you'll be a mod. Wolf, like the new Scream and like the newest Ghostbusters, I'm not a fan of all the Halloween. 
I'm a fan of all the Halloween Friday the 13th scream. Like, oh, so you're saying the new scream you didn't like that much? And the newest Ghostbusters you didn't like that much, but you're a fan of the Halloween and Friday the 13th. Nice. What about Nightmare on Elm Street? You didn't mention that one. I always think of Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street as hand in hand because they made a movie, Freddy vs. Jason. And what did you guys think about Freddy vs. Jason? I thought that one was pretty decent. I liked it. At the end, he has his hand on his machete and then like, his head just winks. He's like, oh, I'm still alive. <laughs> like, you never got out of the dream. No worries. I got it, dead man. Anthony says, hell yeah. Anthony said, seen it. I love white chicks, says Michael. Why couldn't the bicycle stand by itself? It was too tired. Nice. Uh, why did the swimmer go crazy? Because she had cuckoo. Nope, not bikinis on. <laughs> Michael said good night. It is 12.43. I got college tomorrow. Yay, good night, Michael. See you later, dead man. Safe travels, Michael. Bye. Aye, aye. See you later, Michael. School is very important. Dead man, you need to go sleep to learn. Properly, properly, says Stuart. That is so true. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dead man, I do not need to sleep. Anthony said one of the Ghostbusters. Moo, ooh, 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 Dead man said, yes, I am finishing college in the next year at 25. Stewart said, congratulations, that's truly an accomplishment. Keep up the good work. Yep, just like Rihanna said, work, 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 la, 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 work, 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 work. Shayla's just standing in the bathroom for hours. What have you been doing in there? Inside of the bathroom? Yeah. Um, I need plants. I, I need to come in and for pants. <laughs> you don't even have pants on? No. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. I gotta put this down. She don't have pants on. See, I told you guys, look. <laughs> oh, she freaked out. She thought I was showing. What? Yeah. What? Why would you show him? Because they do that. The goods that I have, I don't have no. Got, yeah, That's you your body. Because you got me. That's how that works. You know the blinds are still open, though, right? Hey, you look. Dang, dude. I, I am so good. I'm making her freak out. Do a little wiggle wiggle. She's getting crazy. A little shaky, shaky. There she is. All right, she's good. She got out of the shower. She was just standing there in the bathroom, not doing nothing, just chilling. She's in the Ghostbusters movie with all the girls that were in Ghostbusters. Oh, gotcha. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never even seen it, so I have no idea. I have no idea if it was good or not. No idea. Bro, they should bring out the cast and do... Uh, Charlie's Angels again. I loved that movie. That was a really good one. Congrats. That's truly an accomplishment. Keep up the good work. 
She's in Ghostbusters movie with all yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dead Man said, ha ha, good one. It's was only a waste of money. What what wait, what are you what are you talking about, man? Anthony, did you like the new Ghostbusters though? Stuart, my favorite musical is Sweeney Todd Pies. Sweeney Todd Meat Pies. No, it's not that. It's called Sweeney Todd. Is it called the Demon Barber of Fleet Street? Which is funny because, uh, well, I guess, yeah, I can tell you the house I grew up in. I grew up on a, on the street actually called Fleet. I, I grew up on Fleet Street. I mean, it is only gun, uh, I mean, it is only a gunsmithing degree that I could probably have taught myself. <laughs> No, 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 dude. That's what everybody says when they like learn something. But think about the knowledge you had before you did it and the knowledge you learned. It's always good to take classes to learn that type of stuff. Uh, I like Nightmare on Elm Street. It was awesome. And I do like those movies. But what was your f most favorite scary movie? What was it like when I was younger, or like what? What is it still? Like what do you what do you mean by that? Are you meaning like what was it when I was younger? When I was younger, I think the scariest movie it went way. Oh, it's so cliche. I don't know. I'll just say it anyway. When I was really young, I was like I don't know, maybe like I think five or something. I remember going over to this house with my mom and like I was hanging out and like just running around and I kind of walked in a back room that like the older son of where I went was hanging out and he was watching the movie it and I just remember walking into like a, a specific scene there's this there's this one scene in it to the max Little guidance and watched it really young I think I was like I don't know I think like seven or something like that and it, like, scarred me to where, dude, like, I didn't, uh, like, I didn't, like, I didn't like driving around at nighttime with my parents ever. Yeah. Sure, yeah. And, uh. It's not going to be a lot. <laughs> sure. Do we not have chicken anymore? No, thank you. But yeah, uh, there was this one scene on Jeepers Creepers that was like the scariest thing ever, dude. And I don't even know why, but like, dude, there was this one scene where Jeepers Creepers like landing on the top of this car, of a police car, and, uh, police officer like kind of looks out the window and pulls him up and then there and then like he punches through the the roof and grabs the other driver and just like beheads it. and i freak like it freaked me out so hard that i remember growing up and like not wanting to like really drive around at nighttime with my parents i mean i'd do it i didn't even tell them because i knew they'd get mad that i watched a scary movie so like i just kind of kept it to myself but i just remember like Thinking, I'm like, bro, he's going to land on the top of my car and get me, bro. <laughs> I was like, dude, that guy's going to get me. I was like, no, 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 no. And then there's also this other scene that nothing, it doesn't, nothing even happens. It's just so creepy. Like, there's this one scene when um, Jeeber Creepers is like, you know, dropping off Justin Long, I think is the name of the actor that's in that movie or something long. Uh, Jason Long, maybe, maybe Justin Long. I don't know, but uh, he also the same guy that's in the movie Accepted. Super good film. Um, they see Jeepers Creepers throwing these bodies down this like sewer grate. Uh, no, no, like sewer piping next to the church. No idea why, but it's he decides to go in there and then like slips in there. And then there's just this one scene of him just like looking down there. I was just like. Like, he was so weird looking. Like, he was just... All you see is him down there in a 
black shadowy area and like looking up and like talking through the tube and i was just like it's such a creepy little area like for, especially if the bodies are down there and stuff i was just like and jeepers creepers shows up i'm like oh no oh no oh no oh no <coughs> super scary and then after that i was like probably probably freshman in high school i got all over that this one movie that freaked me out hardcore was it was called the descendants and it's about these people that like go I don't know, like, exploring caves. And then they come across these people that used to work in a mine. And they, like, mutated and stuff. And they turned into weird things crawling all over the ceilings and all kinds of stuff. It was so weird. But what I thought the weirdest part of that movie was... Um, I got a little bit older and I realized the whole thing didn't even make sense. Because at the end of the movie, they end up, like, getting out. Like, they get out of there. They find, like, a way to get out. And I was just thinking the whole time, I'm like, bro, if I, like, lived in a cave my whole life and I, like, mutated, I lived in there that long, like, I'm pretty sure I would have found the exit instead of some people that come and explore and while they're exploring, they just randomly find an exit. I'm just like, I thought that was so weird. I'm like, how, how have they spent... So much time down there, they mutated and they never found an exit. Like, I thought that was so weird. I didn't understand. Uh, yeah, oh, but anyways, back to the Sweeney Todd. That, um, is a fantastic movie, too. I really like that movie. Um, definitely was my favorite musical, like, in a new age sense. Because the Oliver Twist movie I like is, like, it's old, bro. I think it's, like, from the 70s. But, yeah, I liked that one, and... I've talked about it multiple times on here, but Tim Burton, sheesh, that guy can direct some movies. Him and him and David Fincher are my uh, favorite directors. I really like them. David Fincher, obviously, because of Fight Club. Fight Club! And then he also did a movie called Gone Girl. Oh, God, such a good movie. Gone Girl was... Uh, blew my mind. Blew my mind. Dead Man, I mean... It is only gunsmithing degree that I could probably have taught myself. Okay. I know my own Elm Street is awesome, but I do like those movies. What was your favorite scary movie? Oh, okay, I already told you. Freddy vs. Jason was a good twist on the horror genre. A game to see who could kill more. I want them to twist that again with two other horror slashers. I mean, is there really any, though? I mean, what are, like, nowadays, there's not really iconic characters like those two. Like, I know there's some, like, scary movies out there, but, man, there was, like, what, like, ten Jason, like, uh, Jason movies, and there was, like, I mean, those aren't accurate numbers, and there was probably, like, 10 Freddy, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies, and, like, 10 Friday the 13th movies, and just, like, there's not really an iconic character like that anymore that's making so many movies. The only horror movie that has that many movies for a franchise is, like, the movie Saw, but, like, I think that'd be kind of boring to see Jigsaw's old man self running around, and I don't really know any other ones. There's a lot of, like, ones built off of Insidious and The Conjuring and Annabelle, but I don't really know of uh, how they would do that one. And, like, Scream, it was just a regular dude just in a mask, you know? So, I don't know. Maybe they could... I mean, one iconic character that's starting to become iconic is that uh, Art the Clown... In the, in the Terrifier movies. But that's not even like a huge box office movie. That was kind of just a bunch of random college people, I think. I mean, not college people, but just like, yeah. I don't even know. What do you, What is your guys' opinion? Who do you think is like a horror movie person that's iconic enough to have like a slash over? Or how about just a film that they remake it? That would be pretty cool. Oh wait, they they're all they're making kind of something like that. They're making uh Godzilla vs. King Kong. I seen that. That one 
Looks like it might be. Might be okay. I don't know how they could switch it over, but dude, what if they started switching over all the giant stuff and like doing crossover movies with those? Like, uh, I mean, I they just did just do it with that. But what if they did like Transformers and King Kong? Like, not even against each other, just, like, against something I don't like. They just time up, uh, time team up, like, maybe against some alien race that's coming or something. Or Godzilla and, I don't know, like, Metal Godzilla versus the uh, Transformers. I See, and nowadays you say Transformers and people think you're just talking about trans people forming into whatever they're doing. Isn't that a transformer nowadays? It's like a trans person forming into another identity or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, let's move on from that. Yeah, I liked that as well, Stuart. Yeah, me too. I thought so. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Must have been a nice view. <laughs> I was, I, I didn't mean wiggle. It was more like, should like turn around real quick because I was like, act. I was like, hey guys, I would talk like, you know, like I'm, I'm showing you guys. And she was like, no. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I was like, I don't know, just acting like I was showing her off, and she was like, she, she's very, very wholesome. Like, I mean, not a uh, wholesome. Uh, what is that word I'm thinking of? I don't even know. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, she doesn't, like, dress skippy or anything. She's all, like, uh, <sighs> like, uh, yeah, anyways, she's, yeah, raised really nicely is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Anthony says, bless you. Thank you. I did sneeze pretty hardcore. Gunsmithing is better to be taught the ins and outs rather than having to mess up and casting the intricate parts. So many things to mess up. Yeah, could you imagine, dude, if you go and fire around and it just blows up inside of the chamber instead of releasing because you did it wrong? Or it was too packed or something? I've heard that happens, man. That's a pretty crazy thing. I already knew practically everything thanks to my grandfather. Oh, uh, okay, well, yeah, if you went into it already knowing stuff, then that's different than somebody that just didn't know anything. But that's really cool, Dead Man. That's really, really cool that you know how to do that type of stuff. That's something that would be really, really cool to know how to do at the end of the world. And there's only a few people left, and you're just making your own rounds. That's actually really fascinating. <clears throat> I've built a few from scratch. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Love the content, but I'm out. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you, Wolf. Don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you back. You're an amazing guy. Thank you for the questions and everything. Stuart Panzer? Safe travels, Panzer? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I don't even know what that means. Is it like pansexual or something? Or what is that? I don't know. It's when I am, so bye, everybody. Safe travels. See you later, dead man. You are a dead man. Oh, man. What's up, Kyle? How's it going, Kyle? Jeepers Creepers was awesome, but the sequels tried too hard. I 100% agree dude yeah man the first one man and i think it had to do with the actor 
they kind of brought in nobody actors in the other ones. But dude, Justin Long was kind of on the rise at that point in life. He was he was getting to become a very good actor. <laughs> He's in quite a bit of good movies, but yeah, I definitely agree. Um, Safe Travels, Dead Man. Commander Sins, Jeepers Creepers, where do you get those peepers? Oh, those weepers. Oh, they hypnotize where you get those eyes. Are you familiar with FCP Foundation? Yeah, we've talked about it on here a while, but I don't know if that's uh, popular enough to get enough traction for, like, all... Um, you know, walks of life. I think maybe the new generation, but like, I don't think, you know, like people that are like, you know, our age and older would be interested in seeing something like that. Cause I don't think many of them know what it is. You know, I think because we're hip and cool with the times, we know what it is, but I don't think many other people would. So, well, actually that's not a bad one, dude. Jeepers creepers ver. Bro, what if they, what if they, pretty sick. I'd watch that. Dude, now that I think about it, they should have never did Freddy vs. Jason. Like, Myers and him kind of have all of the same traits. They're both kind of just big, dopey dudes that walk around with a big old slasher. Dude, that would have been cool. Dude, Mike Myers, that, that tall, just beefy dude against Jason, and they just... They just have a. What did one hat say to the other? Stay here. I'm going on ahead. <laughs> Ghostbusters. And Chainsaw Massacre. Ah, oh, Chucky, Leatherface. What the heck is Victor Crowley? You gotta tell me about Victor Crowley. I don't know what that means. I don't think those comments are appropriate, sir. Yeah, man. I don't I don't wanna cause I don't wanna say that stuff out loud. I don't mean and if you say stuff, but I don't wanna be just like Saying that out loud for people to think to do that. Dude, I'm going to be honest about Chucky. <clears throat> I don't even think Chucky is cool. And it has to do with me not being scared of dolls. Some people are scared of dolls. Like Shayla. She doesn't like them. But um, I've never been a person that's scared of dolls. So it's never really freaked me out. <sighs> I just think of how, like, scary, I mean, like, how, how like, light a doll is. And I think if there was, like, a, um, I think if there was a doll coming at me, I'd just go up and give it the nice, nice punt through the uh, uprights. I feel like if Chucky was coming after me, I'd just, like, kick him as hard as I can. And like, what about those actors? They're just like, so you're telling me you want me to just grab this doll and make it look like it's killing me? <laughs> look at her. She loves coffee. Oh my goodness. Stuart said that it would have been a nice view to see Wiggle Wiggle. He's a perv. He's a perv. I'm just kidding. He's not a perv. But he said that. Because I said that you wiggle wiggled. I don't know what that means. So I guess it probably means something worse nowadays, probably like twerking or something. But I was meaning it like you got scared because I uh, I said people were watching you. And it was like another w form of just saying that you shivered. Oh. 
I just smell like there's a. Mm. Mm. Shayla, I made it to the bottom. Bottom of the chat. That's like something I only do like two times. Mm-hmm. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, why? Because it's shaved? Mm -hmm. You can feel my lippy. Mm -hmm. Oh, lippy. <laughs> what do we do with that pizza box? <laughs> I don't know, is it still empty? Yeah, we should go burn it or something. Um, let's go this weekend and have a good fire. I'm joking, it is the weekend. <laughs> you want to go outside and eat again? Well, whenever you're done doing what you're doing. Victor Crowley, also known as... What? Hatchet... Whoa, dude, there's been four of those movies? I don't know any of those. There's a 2007 American slasher film written and directed by Adam Green. It is uh, the sequel to Hatchet 3 and serves as the fourth installment for Hatchet films. I don't know that. Oh, he said, I can't deny that. <laughs> Dirty mind can be a blessing. Yeah, dude. Definitely. Like that. Like that. Yeah, dude. Jeepers Creepers versus Pinhead. Pinhead. Hey, do you... Who are you calling a Pinhead? Pinhead. Uh, you probably never watched Spongebob much. Do you remember Spongebob? Who are you calling a pinhead? Pinhead Larry? I want to be dirty, Dan. No, you're a pinhead. Who are you calling pinhead? Huh. <laughs> oh, what do you want to do? You well, like do you want to go outside or in here? What are you doing? Okay, so what do you want to do? Sure. If you want to do that, I don't care what we do. <laughs> A pause edition. Got big jugs. Uh, other good fight between would be between two of the Dracula adaptations. Yeah. Why did Billy get fired from the banana factory? He kept throwing away the bent ones. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Dude, maybe maybe they should throw in uh a three-way fight. How cool would that be? Throwing a three-way fight of Chainsaw Massacre, Leatherface. But Chainsaw Massacre is Leatherface. You put both of them. 
Get Leatherface versus Jason versus Mike Myers because they're all kind of the same, just dopey big guys that want to. Don't like a little thing for you. And then I have uh, these salsa and queso. That looks delicious, Shayla. It's got tuna and some kind of cheese on it. Monterey Jack and the uh, Italian. What was it, six cheese or something? There you go. On top of Cool Ranch Doritos. All that was left of them. Cool Ranch Doritos. Should space travel be access to all people? Uh, depends on where you want space travel. I think if anybody wants to travel to the sun, I don't think so. Cost too? Can you afford it? It costs a lot of money to go up there in space. I think it should also depend on that. I mean, how? Who's gonna fund these trips? It's kind of expensive. Rally is similar to their favorite disposal options. Oh, I never heard of him. Is that is that a recent like film in history, or is that has he been around for a long time? Have you heard of him, Shayla? What was his name? Uh, Victor Crowley. It's like a mov movie called Hatchet. No, I don't know that one. What a uh, very uncreative name. Let's just name it the name of the killer's weapon. Hmm. Maybe Art the Clown, dude. I like the Art the Clown adaptation. Oh, let's just say it was a lot easier and we could have already colonized Mars. Um, yeah, but just, I, I don't know. I just, I feel like, and you're saying like we already have like, like ships that are like really cheap in, in like fuel to get up there and stuff. Then, I don't know, I, I think everybody should be able to go up there. think so. Shall you're the type that want to go, uh, oh, I got to mute this. Too many people watching. She does the best. She brought me nachos in bed. That's wifey material right there. Yeah. <clears throat> cough, cough, cough. Correct it. Card, 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 card. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to propose to you. But you know what you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. And then you, my friend, will have a ring on your finger. My mama's ring. Um. Yeah. Yeah, you got a big old finger, huh? Yeah. Should I propose with a uh, toe ring? <laughs> um... Yeah, one out there that we'd probably be able to colonize. My Venus is on the other side of us. Or is it? I think Venus is way too hot. Mercury, Venus, or Mars. Oh, Jupiter. Jupiter. Jupiter is on the other side of us. Oh, okay, maybe. I just know Venus is too hot. It's uh. No, Venus is. Yeah, you're right. Venus is on the other side. There's a book I read called um, 
the vicious vultures from Venus, and it's the whole thing. Like, and they were trying to like eat stuff, and it was just melting in their hand. Well, Ricky Ricotta, I love that book about a little rat that had a big old giant robot. Huh. Mm-hmm. Don't know that. Really good. I used to read them. Read them a bunch. But you know what? You know what's up with it. I did some. Um, did a bunch of Captain Underpants when I was younger. That was my favorite. Oh, you love Captain Underpants, also, man. Shayla, did I take you to go see Captain Underpants with me? Go see it? What do you mean? In the theater when it came out? Or did it come out when I was in high school? It might have came out when I was in high school. We watched it, I think, on like DVD or something. Okay, that's where we watched it. But not in theaters. I think there was like a Halloween episode special that came out on Netflix or something. Like a year or two ago. Um, I'm nachos. I mean, we need it. Looks like it. Wow. You know one more? Wow. I'm not adding a lot more. Okay. And she grabs the other one? <laughs> I'm grabbing a little bit of both. Oh, gosh. You're, so, you're acting so judgy, but you're the one that's going in for the dips. Just, like, immediately. Everybody's brain automatically judges. What are you talking about? What are you, Brandon? You're like, wow, that's a lot of sauce, so then you go eat it. <laughs> Never said it was bad. Not a bad thing. Uh-uh. Hi, Teresa, or should I say, Theresa? Is Teresa spelled with an H? Dude, that girl. I met a girl at the bar last night. Which one? There are so many girls. Which one are you talking about? Probably the drunkest one. The drunkest girl last night? Yeah, she was um, sitting Where? next to... She was playing darts with the, uh, her friends over there, and then she would come and sit next to that um, Latina girl that works at Geppetto's. Oh, okay. Okay. Nayeli or something like that. Can you describe, like, what, like, color hair she had or anything? Yeah, like, super, like, wavy, long hair, and her face was kind of flat. What, she was what? with a guy the whole time. What color hair? I don't know. It was, like, a light brown or a dirty blonde. Oh, the girl that was with the guy the whole time and, like, sitting on his lap and, like, grinding on him and stuff? Yep. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Addie or she said her name was Addie, but, yeah. Like, she didn't even go home with him. He, they, the th girls just left him at the bar. I remember that. <laughs> like, yeah, all my friends just left me. We were like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I told you to grab your drink, because I seen his elbow get, like, inches away, and when he was turning yeah. around, I was like, oh, God. He's pretty wasted. He probably doesn't even realize he almost spilled it. Right, right. No, I wasn't upset or anything. But, um, my point was, I brought her up because I was like, dude, she's fucked. She was trash. Yeah. She introduced herself and immediately, like, don't, just doesn't even know how you go. She starts talking about, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm the nice one in the relationship. I'm, I'm the one that stays at home. I'm a homebody. I never do this. And he, my boyfriend here, he's, he comes out here, like, twice a week at least. Sometimes three, four times a week. He's like, maybe we look bad. Stop. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, holy crap. <laughs> I had the book with the really long toilet name. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like the terrible talking toilets traumatized or something like that. And a lot of the time they had to do with like 
like somewhere in the school. Like I think the cooks or something like that. Putting like mustard and ketchup packets underneath the toilet seats. The principal was Captain Underpants. Yeah, but like no. So they only did that at the beginning of the first book because he uh. It was before, the, then they went and got a ring out of a, a news magazine ad, and it said hypnotizing ring, and then they hypnotized him. Mm-hmm. You had to throw water on the setting to get back to Mr. Corrupt. You're so corrupt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, then every time he'd take off, he'd be like, tra-la-la. <laughs> yeah, tra-la-la-la-la. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's funny, too, because that's like the worst. Captain, I have no armor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that one, I'll look it up. Yeah, the Terrible Lunch Lady book, too. Yeah. I read I read all of them that came them. Where are they? Huh? Where are my Captain? I haven't seen them in a long time. There's somewhere All of your here. books are still in a box. We never unpack the books. Oh. There's no shelves. <laughs> yeah. There was another series they did. I never really got into it much, but it was called uh, Dog Man. Or Cat Man. Yeah, I think Catman was one too, yeah. I remember it's like the yeah, the new generation is basically their version of Captain Underpants. They also had one yeah. called like it wasn't like Frank and Winnie, but it, there was also one about a wiener dog. I forget what that one was called. Mm. I remember growing up and reading um there was like a girl version of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It was called Dork Diaries. Yeah. Whoa. It should. But would an athletic kid really write you? <laughs> yeah, he just wrote. I think he just wrote in this. I know this about like what happens day to day. Oh. Throw your tongue on there, Shay. No, I'm good. Hey guys. I think it's just guy now. Guy. <laughs> One person. Yo tengo una persona. Vieja. Tu vieja. Te vieja. Had a good day today, Shayla. Great day. Today was great. Yesterday was fantastic, too. I had a great weekend. Mm -hmm. Spending all me monies. Pull back on all the spending. We've been having so much fun not spending. Or not saving. We should chill for a bit and do more saving. Yeah. Saving and organizing. Yep, for sure. I think it would be nice to be all moved in before a whole month. Because, um, yeah, read online, huh? It has gone. No, it hasn't. It's like the 16th today, isn't it? Or it's 17th? Yeah. March. Yeah, we moved in on March 1st. Well, like, it's February 27th. Yeah. January. No. It was January 27th. It was like February 1st ish. It kind of marks the beginning of this week. What? Yeah, it's been like a month and a half. Are you sure? I'm sure. I don't know about that. Are you sure? Because I thought she... I'm sure. 
Remember, we um, signed up for the storage unit at the same time we signed up for the apartment and the storage unit. We got the entire first month free, and then we had to pay for the second month on March 1st, which means the full first month of February, we were in the storage unit in this apartment. Oh. Well. Well. You, uh, want to go to the car? Hmm. I don't know. I'll go with you, but I don't know if I want to, actually. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Did you like your nachos? Yeah, I did. Thank okay. you. Well, there's a lot of stuff going. Hi there, Shayla. Stewart said hi there. Hi, Stuart. What are you guys uh, chatting about? Uh, we just do philosophy now. I like it. Uh, like Stuart it. likes to um, do philosophy because his nickname is Phil. And so... <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay, okay. And um, he's like, it's in my name. All right. And so that's why he does it. And uh, yeah. So let me see what's next. Captain... And the invasion of the incredible naughty cafeteria ladies from outer space. Yeah. From outer Captain space. Underpants in the Perilous plot of Professor Poopy Pants color edition. Yeah, that was the fourth the fourth book, bro. I know them all in order. Well, shall I even tell you? The Invasion of the Lunch Ladies, that one was... Wait, what was the third one? I think that one was number five, right? Number two was The Talking Toilets. Number one was just Captain Underpants. Oh, number three... My, yeah, number three was the cafeteria ones, because... Poopy Pants was number four. Yeah, Tyranna, right? Number six. Wait, what? Are you skipping one? Yeah, the Booger Boy, bro. Yeah. He turned into Booger Boy, and that was the kid that was like Randall from Resold. I mean, George and Harold said this. Yeah, it was kind of wild. So many throwbacks, either Shayla. How do you know that you belong? How do you know you belong? Belong where? What does it mean by belong? Uh, anything. It's philosophy. It's a philosophy question. How do you know you belong? In I don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess because. The people that I surround myself in my daily life uh, are often uh, satisfied with the work that I do. They're happy that I'm around. Um, oh, wow. You know, they smile in my presence. Um, you went right to people. Yeah, I mean, I, we're, I belong at work. I feel like I belong in the human race because I also fit the societal you know, norms. But does the human race, <laughs> does the human race belong on the earth? Yes. Oh, wow. Because we are a natural product of six, what, seven billion years of evolution. What? How hmm. old is the Earth again? 6.4 billion years, maybe? I don't know. I'm not that old. I think it's 6.4 billion years. Yeah. I'm only 1,000. What is this about? Vaishali. God said, what is this about? It's just about talking mm -hmm. and hanging out. Uh, laugh aloud. I just like deep, thoughtful insights. I like being inside. Me too. Uh, I didn't list them in order. Just ones I remember. Nice. Anywhere, anyhow, how do you know you're meant to be? Well, like, like my old... Uh, my freaking 
great, 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 great grandpa. I mean, great, 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 great brother used to say, to be or not to be, that is the question. Yeah, I, he's like my great, 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 great brother, twice removed. And then remarried back in. It's pretty sick. Um, I think to be is if you want to be. Just chilling around the campfire, talking around the campfire. Yeah, just stay away from the smoke, bro. It'll get you. How do you make seven even? <laughs> All right, they need to see what you're doing right no, now. I'm not doing anything. Look at this. I'm not doing anything. I had one of my buddies stop by on a motorbike today, Shayla, and I talked to him. One of your buddies stopped by on a motorbike? Yeah. What buddy? Why don't you go watch my live stream for once and go watch? I had a whole freaking probably 20 minute conversation with him on live stream. He, okay. he caught me trying to, um, he caught me trying to feed crows. Are you guys just talking about crows? Or... No, he wasn't interested in crows. He was more interested in telling me about some other stuff, and I, I just listened. Okay. Shayla, how do you, how do you turn seven even? Nope. You take away the S. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shayla. No more sticking out that gap. No. Anyways, uh, that's a good one. Oh my God, I gotta freaking write down this movie. So I, before I forget it. Hey, if you ever get a chance, you should watch the movie Lucky Number Eleven. Such a good movie. Eleven. Yeah. Seven, it's a, eleven. It's a, I didn't do anything. Yeah, do that whole thing. <laughs> they did not. Yeah, they did. You guys seen freaking Shayla climbing up the side of the freaking doorway, didn't you? What time did you, did the man go to the dentist? Oh, I know. What? 2.30. 2 30. 2 30. <laughs> It was really weird only going live for a little bit on Saturday. I could have went live a lot longer on <laughs> Saturday. But you know what we were doing? Commander Sin! That's what Shayla's doing. Mm -hmm. L is for the way you look at me. Oh. <laughs> o is very opportunist. I see. Is very, very extraordinary. Uh, e. <laughs> e is even more than any one that I adore. My philosophy questions aren't posting to the app. Oh. Uh. Interesting. Okay. Well, how about this philosophy question? Here, let me ask you one. Uh, what? 
What is considered the end of time? What would you consider the end of time? Time. What is the end of time? What does that mean? There she is. I know the answer. What is it? E. Oh, okay. No, that wasn't even a joke. But yeah, that's a good one. No, an actual philosophy question is what is the end of time? Oh, well, in that case, like the end of the universe? Right, but does the ticker keep, keep going? Or does that what you consider the end? Or is it the end of the world? Or is it. I mean, my understanding of space is that the time and space are ever expanding. So there's really. No end to it except for what it hasn't reached yet, if that makes sense. I know, but is the clocker still going to go from 12 all the way to 12 again, even though there's nothing that it's timing? Is time still uh, going? No, I wouldn't say that in the universe, because on Earth we base our time around our revolution around the sun, and that wouldn't apply in other other places. wherever the end of time is at. Well, could it be... So you're saying the end of the world is the end of time, then, because you said around the sun. No, I was talking about how time is different on Earth versus somewhere else in space because of the there is only perceivable concept of time and days. I will move on. Mm -hmm. Revolution of the sun. Right. So you're saying when the sun dies, there's no more time. That's not all I want to talk about. You're not listening. When the, ex when the universe dies, is there still going to be time? I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The planets and stars will still move their time forward without us perceiving them. The act of observing matter can change its state. Okay, so, so consciousness, huh? Uh -huh. What does Isaac Newton and the devil have in common? Hey, this is a good uh, joke I just made up in my brain. Oh, you just made this one up? What does Isaac Newton and the devil have in common? A ton. They have a ton in common. Satan, Isaac Newton. Is it a funny? Okay. They have a ton. That's at the end of both their names. Satan. Yeah, but isn't Newton spelled N E W T O N and Satan is S A T A N? When you try to tell jokes to a nerd, <laughs> they won't accept the joke. They will only tell you why it's not good. <laughs> That's what he said. Isn't it spelled different, Austin? Oh. Look at Shayla's body's cut in half. <clears throat> oh, well, he thought it was really funny. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always got stew. Stew. I sometimes call him Stewie. Stew. <laughs> hey, stuff. 
<laughs> what about if the ice puck was this big? I would say it's those things are little hard things. Okay. Little tiny things. Are you gonna walk <laughs> yes, you won't move. <laughs> Dude, what'd you do with your banana half eaten? Yeah, we got to get some Drano tomorrow. Yeah. I'm not sure what you've been putting down that drain, but holy cow. So why is it always just me putting stuff down the drain? I don't know why it's always just you putting stuff down the drain. That's what I just said. <laughs> it's just like that one song, Shayla. You can put the blame on me. Games, love games. The nachos were fin. There she is. Ah. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a kitty, bro. <laughs> it's a kitty. <laughs> what if I just... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go, sleepies. Yeah, sleepies. Get off of my toe. It's a hook to me. Swoopies! Don't you swoop me. Come on, let's chat with us, Stuart. Let's say Get off. Baby. I love you. I love you. Well, don't lay your head on the mat. <laughs> don't. Don't. Okay. Ruben. Where are you from, man? I came from out of my mama 1,563 years ago. Where are you from, man? Uh, also Washington State. A ton, yeah, dude. What do you call it when a snowman throws a tantrum? A meltdown. Kawhi Shayla. What up, Rohan? Oh, it's Rohan. Rohan Zoro. That's... Probably my second favorite character on One Piece, Rohan Zoro. Oh, Roanoa Zoro. I don't know a Zoro. <laughs> nice, it's me and Shayla's favorite time of the day. She loves brushing her teeth. <laughs> she says, no, domestic violence. Rono Yoro! His name's Rono Yoro? I didn't even know. I thought it was Zoro this whole time. What the heck? Why did it even smell like that? Uh, you can call me Stewie. It's been my nickname most of my life because I love Family Guy so much. Nice! It's crazy that Seth MacFarlane does his voice and he does Peter. It's kind of weird to think about. Too bad he doesn't do Cleveland because that would be hilarious. How many tickets does it take to make an octopus laugh? Oh, how many tickles? Ten tickles! Ten tickles! Yeah, I like Luffy. I just said, um, 
My favorite characters. Baby, come on. Coming in here just for two weeks. <laughs> Stop it, look at this. Stop showing people my pajama <laughs> No, no, they need to see this. No, oh, my little bare feet. <laughs> no, you have socks on. Yeah, they're bare feet. No, they're socks. They got a little, they're little Oh, I thought you said you were barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a laugh out of her. Nice. Baby, ah. dude, that's wild. I'm in here. It's disgusting. <laughs> you want me to leave here so you can go poop? We're going to this. Poop. There she is. Wow. I like Rona Ozoro and I like I like Luffy. But uh what is the name of Oh Seth does like eight characters of family guy? No he doesn't, bro. There's no way. He does like I think he does like over a hundred. Go to go to IMDB and click on Family Guy. It'll, it'll, it lists like all the names of the people that he's like done voices for and Family Guy. It's a lot of people, man. That that guy could sure put an outfit on and act like somebody else with his voice. He's a weird guy. Like he's really weird. I've seen him in interviews and stuff. He's just he's very like different. Like he just kind of has crazy ADD. <laughs> Shayla is the Rizzler. Check her out. I don't really get too many views on YouTube on a Sunday, Shayla, but... I get mostly the rest of my views like the day after. Oh, yeah. Okay, I got to brush my teeth. Oh, I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, you. Okay, let me read some more stuff. Why are you watching One Piece? You already got One Piece. Big treasure. Beside you, dude. Oh, Shayla! They said you're my One Piece big treasure. Yeah, dude, I'm a lucky man. She's a little cutie. Even when she's a fiery little dust animal. She can be a little firecracker sometimes, but nothing I can't tame. Nothing I can't tame. <laughs> um, that's a cool thing about um, Shayla is Shayla also likes anime and she liked it like before she knew me so like we actually like to watch animes together we like One Piece um, when she we she got with me we got really into Demon Hunter watched all seasons uh,
That's them. Hey, do you guys know much about that? Someone in the chat last, I think it was maybe yesterday, that Demon Hunter is done for or something like that. I don't know if that's true or not. It's just what I heard. What's up, Dexter? Um, I forget what the name of the guy is, but on One Piece, there's a guy that has a huge sword that, like, always beats up Zoro. And he, like, can split ships with sword and stuff, but I think that's uh, my favorite character. And I don't even remember his name, but he's my favorite character. How weird is that? My fa favorite character? I don't even remember his name at the time. Oh, shoot. I skipped some things. Teeth time, yeah, yeah. I gotta keep my chompers. <laughs> Does that make you guys feel uncomfortable? Does that make you guys feel comfortable with this sound? Is that a weird sound? I feel like that would make me uncomfortable if I watched someone do that. Uh, does your point, does your worldview impact the way you make day-to-day -day decisions? Um, I think it definitely can, but no, I think, um, I want to say world, I would say nationwide probably, because like, you know, laws pass in your country and stuff like that, and, uh, yeah, I would say probably nationwide. What's up, Rohan? Did you watch... America's Got Talent? Is that what that stands for? Oh, what's up, chill? 12 a.m. And this is what I come to watch, which is funny. Not hate or anything. It's okay how you said funny. Dexter said cool, dude. What up, Dex? What up, Dex? Stop forth. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't, because I would love to have you back. Shayla's just throwing on lights in other rooms. Uh, Shayla knows the name of my favorite character, so I'll ask her when she gets in here. Uh, the guy with the big sword on One Piece. Uh, uh, Mihan Hawkeye. Uh, Hawkeye or something like that. What? Why'd you say, oh my god, didn't I say it right? Oh. Okay. Wait, why you turn lights on and then walk in here? What's in that cup? Just okay. You put these in here. Probably when I was serving food. <laughs> so I had water to drink. Oh. Okay. Uh. Thanks for the sip of Gatorade. Seth does like eight characters. Yeah, no, dude, he does a lot. I love One Piece. Uh, One Piece. And Luffy is such a powerhouse. I love episodes. He is, bro. Not only a powerhouse, he's a string bean. My favorite villain ever, though, is that one guy that was the electricity guy in the Sky Islands or Skyland or whatever. I love that. In live episodes. Oh, in live episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to lie, dude. I think Usopp's character was the worst transition from... That's a hot take. Give me your guys' opinion. I thought the personality... And I thought... uh just perception and just in general, I thought they did a horrible job on Usopp. Horrible job on Usopp. I thought they did pretty good with everybody else. Not going to lie. I thought they did great with Zoro. 
That was really good. Sanji's character, really good. Like, the way that they acted, Luffy. Um, I thought Nami was fantastic, too. Um, and even the girl at the beginning when he, like, beats up everybody on that ship. I thought he did so good. I loved that so much. <coughs> but, in my personal opinion, I thought Usopp was the worst and even Buggy the Clown was pretty decent. I thought Buggy was pretty freaking decent. But man, there was some... And even the Shark Squads. I thought the... How they perceived the fish people and stuff like that. I thought they all looked pretty dang good. Man, Usopp was horrible, dude. Like, his, he didn't even have the same voice. He didn't even act the same. It was like a totally different character. It was just weird. Like, I wanted that voice, like, Hi, I'm Usopp, and I, I'm a little weirdo. I just like telling stories, and it's kind of crazy, and I don't know. I fix everything. But he was just like, yeah, I'm uh, Usopp, and uh, I'm really cool. And uh, Very I was like, dude, what? I was like, what happened to the Usopp that I was just like, Lying about everything and getting beat up all the time. <laughs> like, I don't know. Uh, why are you watching One Piece? You already got One Piece. Biggest treasure besides you, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> She's pretty cool. Uh, Oh, they said you're really lucky, Shayla. Oh, thank you, guys. I know. She's cool. I'll keep her around for a bit, though. <laughs> Just for a bit. Well, if we're talking about the time of history, we're only alive for about 100, and there's 2,000 years already. And that's... That's what... After the so-called birth of Christ. <laughs> Is that when you were born? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What a nice person. <laughs> so true, Shayla. Such a treasure. She is a treasure. And a very beautiful chest. Treasure chest. <laughs> I got another laugh out of her. I love that little animal. She's a little animal, dude. It should take uh, Luffy another trip around the belt to get to laugh tail. I think he is off course having gone to Egghead Island. Bro, I need to look up all of that. What does any of that mean, my guy? No, he's, he's talking about Luffy. Oh. Take another trip around the belt. I know I know the belt. That's like the golden line or whatever. I like Demon Hunter, but the animation studios were overworked to make it. I did not know that, but I do know that it was probably... I, don't know, I would probably say in the top five of my favorite like animes for specifically artwork. I remember that whole train movie. It was such an art piece. Like, all of the scenery and everything in the background, dude. Dude, that was fire. They need to bring back Hey Arnold. Yeah, dude, I loved Hey Arnold. That was my favorite. Maybe just call it Eugene. Did you watch AOT? What is AOT? What is AOT? <clears throat> Nah, not me. A bit weird. Wait, 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 wait. No, not you. What, Stuart? I'm sorry. I'm kind of far back. I, I wasn't here for a while. Chill said, oh, AOT means att oh, attack on Titans, bro. Yeah, I like attack on Titans. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. 
I love Attack on Titans. James Scooter says, hello, what's up, James Scooters? You like scooting around, or is it like on an actual scooter? What are you doing on scoots? Peter Griffin, Brian Griffin, Stewie Griffin, Glenn Quagmire, Tom Tucker, Lois' father, Carl, Peter Schmidt, and Dr. Hartman. Dude, there was, I swear, dude, go check it out. Go to Go to Google. Go to imdb.com, uh, International Movie Database, and then go to Family Guy, and then go to Cast. And when you go to the Cast section, if you scroll down a little bit after you go to Family Guy, scroll down, and click on Cast, and it should just show every single person that Peter Griffin plays. And it's crazy. It's like 100 people it has. It's like the longest thing I've ever seen. It's crazy. Like, he... And it's like, a lot of them are just little side characters that don't really show up that much. Like, they might just show up for one one. Yeah, it's Hawkeye, the best swordsman in the world. Yeah, dude, that's my favorite character on One Piece so far. And my favorite villain is, uh, well, I guess, is he technically a villain? What is he? What would you say Hawkeye is? I don't know if he's a... He's almost like a nomad. He's like... Floating around on the smallest ship ever, just being a swordsman. Um, I always think it's weird that Luffy falls in the water. And I don't know why, but he just turns into a little baby. And it's like, I understand, like, he can't swim or something like that because of, like, like the dragon fruit. But, like, why not just stretch your arms back up to the surface and pull yourself out? I remember there was one episode... He went underneath the water when the, at the sword, I mean, at the the fish people place. He was under there for, like, a whole episode. <laughs> like, it is weird. They just drug it on, him just being underwater. Who here is also finished with the manga animated of One Piece? What? I don't think anybody has. Uh, holy cow. Me and Shayla watched maybe like 800 episodes and there's still more. Mm -hmm. I'm on live One Piece. I'm on live One Piece. No way. You're watching it live? Oh, what's up, Spotty? Are you spotting? What up? Why don't you try to do the 75 hard challenge? Not sure what that is. Or maybe I would. I don't know what that is. Sorry. Uh, Usopp still doesn't deserve to be on the boat. What do you mean by that, Stuart? What do you mean he doesn't deserve to be on the boat? I don't really know what you mean by that. He is. The only thing that I do like about him is... Uh, well, I mean, there's actually kind of a lot. After, like, the longer you watch a show, I like... Ends up getting actually kind of strong. But, um... I don't... I didn't like him in the live action. His interpretation was horrible. But that's just me. Everybody's got a different point of view. But just for me, I thought it was very, very bad. Was, I mean, he does... He does kind of deserve to be on the boat. Only because he's... Like, his talent is, like, fixing the boat. He's, like, the only one that really just sits and works on it, you know? The Going Mary is what they called it or whatever. Stuart, you did not just say that. He is the GOAT. I, uh, you know, there is a theory out there that says uh, Usopp is pretty much the leader of the crew of the Straw Hats. Because of everything he does. Like, the way that he acts in every... Thing that he does and like i can see it the way they explain it i'm like well that kind of makes sense like he is the one that's always fix fixing the boat he is the one that's always trying to bring everybody back together like even though he whines and cries like when everybody's fighting he is the one that's always like stop it stop it let's uh let's get together well sometimes him and zoro fight quite a bit but i don't know i i read that i was like oh that's pretty interesting uh, Cross Guild is where Hawkeye is at in the live right now. Dude, when it showed him at the end of it, I was like, oh, 
I wanted I wanted to see more so bad. I love Hawkeye, dude. What a little hottie Hawkeye. No, I'm just kidding. Shayla thought he was the cutest one too. I was like, yeah. Oh, I'm just kidding. Shayla, you awake? Yeah. Oh. Don't forget you set your alarm. Oh, your y'all are talking about the live one. Oops. Oh y'all. I love the fish people. I forget what they're called. But they're the ones that gave Nami the episode because she gave her life up to, uh, shoot, what was his name? Shayla? Mm -hmm. The main fish guy that had the, he's like swordfish. Arlong. Arlong. Dang, you're smart, Shayla. You got good memory. Thank you. I love uh, fish, I love the fish people. Yeah, dude, they did great. Usopp is a sniper with the, concept. what? That was a pretty cool concept. In the, in the live action or in the? In the, you know, in the show. Yeah, the show. To keep, uh, in order to keep the girl, uh, fucking on me. Yeah. They had to defeat, like, an entire fucking gang of powerful fish people. Yeah, that's totally true. <laughs> yeah, and she, like, uh, like. She gave her life away to, like, save her parents, didn't yeah. she? Like, her mom. And she, like, made all the maps for him. Mm -hmm. And her sister, Robin. No, no. Not Robin. Blue-haired girl. Dude. And her sister was a horrible adaptation. That made no sense. Oh, my God. Yeah. They kind of looked alike in the animation, and then... They went to the live action and it was like, let's pick someone that looks nothing like Nami. That was so weird. <coughs> God, that was so horrible. Gosh, I, I don't like when Netflix does that. Gosh, dude. That blew my mind. I didn't even realize at first I was supposed to be <laughs> her sister, bro. That was so weird. She just comes out and I'm like, Oh, who's this character? I don't remember in the show when she talks about being her sister. I'm like, no. No. No! Another character I like, I'm like, dude, in the live action, I remember there was this one weird guy in like the early on episodes that would be like, acting like Michael Jackson. Was he in the live action? Yeah, I was like acting like Michael Jackson, always doing like the moonwalk everywhere, you know, weird. I do remember him in the anime, but I don't know what he was in the That was so funny. I love the fish people. Usopp is a sniper with a slingshot without the island he was sent to by Kuma. He would be totally useless against Keto? Oh, Keto diet. Nice. Commander Sims said, I have a joke about chemistry, but I don't think I will get a reaction. That's a good one. <laughs> James Scooter says, hello. Stuart says, attack on time. Oh. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Hello, James Scooters. Attack on Titans is an amazing show, Rohan. It really is. I love the animation. I love the characters. Um, not the characters, but... I mean, I do like characters, but I like how they... Uh, like the artwork. Like, just these huge titans that are just all meat. It's really cool. Very interesting. And, like, just how they look. It's almost like a nightmare how they run around. They're like, ah, ah. it's all really weird. All looking like Down Syndrome kids and stuff. It's, like, kind of crazy looking. Uh, your nose, your mouth noises didn't bother me. 
My, my mouth noises. Oh, really? Oh, these? Some people don't like it because it almost sounds like pieces of porcelain hitting together. Uh, Spotty Stewart, welcome James and Spotty Fire Watchers. How are you, Stuart? Why don't you try to do a 75 hard challenge? Can you tell me what, can anybody tell me what that is? I wish I, sheesh, I cannot wait to have internet. Because when I live stream, I'm going to be having a laptop next to me. I'm going to research everything you guys are talking about. But every time I have to research something, I have to swipe up, which gets me off of the app. And then it pauses me, so you guys don't even get a... I can't, like, minimize the screen and, like, put it off to the left of the screen and watch you guys live while I research things. But what is the... Why don't you do the 75 hard challenge? What does that mean? Can we, uh... I need some elaboration. I, I want to know what that is because, I mean, I might try if you guys... I mean, if that gets what the people go, and I'll do it. Stuart Hawkeye started as a warlord for the world government, but after after the abolition, abolition, he went back to being a pirate with Buggy and Crocodile. I don't remember Crocodile that much. Who's Crocodile? I remember Buggy. But I don't, I thought Rohan wasn't even that. I thought Rohan was like, I thought he was like, I want to say I thought he was like a bounty hunter or something. Wasn't that like how he just gets money is he just like kind of goes around and he just kind of like gets people and doesn't he try to turn them in for money or something like that? Or am I like way wrong? Because I thought that was what his thing was. Like every time he showed up, he kept looking at the wanted pictures and he's like, oh, wow. Like he kept trying to find people. Or was it or was it that he wasn't trying to get money? He was trying to like just like seeing how many berries that they could get. Was it called berries, right, Shayla? Mm -hmm. Was it called berries? What, what was that? The currency the yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause he like seen how much berries people were worth, and so he was like, uh I, I kinda wanna defeat these guys. Like was it not because of the berries? Was it because he's like, oh I wanna be considered the most powerful type of thing? Yeah, I don't know why. I know this probably sounds bad, but I don't really remember a a person named Crocodile that much. I'm good. Nice to see you, Spotty. He wasn't in the live action. Oh, dude, that guy was funny. I remember it would like, I think I think I even remember like tunes like even popping up a little bit of like just him every time he would do the Michael Jackson moonwalk. Good, Spotty. How are you? I'm good. I haven't seen the. That guy started Warlord. I haven't seen the live action. Frankie took over the helmsman position until Juby took control of the boat. Frankie, Frankie now is the shipwright. Oh. Man, I've always liked Frankie. I think Frankie's really cool. I like how he's like a cyborg. It's kind of cool. Oh, the sand guy. Dude, he's powerful. Oh, okay. What's what's uh
Mm-hmm. Mm. Dude, another person that wasn't in the live action, and I thought they were kind of a prominent character, was a... Uh, I remember there was a guy that had, like, a big cat or something that he rode. I'm pretty sure it was a cat. And he, like, he was fighting some people. And I thought that was a pretty cool prominent character, and he wasn't in the live action, I don't remember. He didn't get the bounties, he was... That was his job as warlord. Oh. But what was the what was the point in uh in the animation when he like I guess also live action when he came to the boat and like seen all them? Remember where they met uh Sanji? And he was cooking that place. I remember the swordsman came there and like cut that place in half or something. I didn't get the, he didn't get the bounties, that was his job as a warlord. Oh.
Drink four liters of water daily. Uh, follow a diet. Cane of sugar. See a change in you? Okay. I'm going to screenshot that and do it, Rohan. That's a good idea. I'll do it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, stop by the stream, bro, every day and check out to see how I'm doing. And I'll try to drink four liters of water daily. Four liters? Bro, I'm just thinking about a, a liter of soda. Soda seems so big. Four liters? Is that like a gallon? That's so hard to do as an American. Sugar is in practically everything. There's a minx. There's a giant cat that has a handgun. No, I'm th I'm thinking of a specific cat with a guy that was like a bad dude and i thought he was like fighting everybody in the city and it was like trampling down buildings and stuff not like a whole bunch of buildings but like it's like fighting people i remember who that was and then i remember there was like somebody riding him might have been a dog actually i don't remember it was a while ago when i watched it a long time ago dude it's cool just try 75 hard all right i will bro come back and check out to see how i've been doing man Tama has a cat. I don't want to. A great help. Good transportation. Uh, not happening for me. Sorry. I'm just glad it might work for you, though. More power to anyone that tries. Well, stay tuned. I'm going to try to do it. Ugh. You can just upload your daily progress. Your challenge like day one, day two. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. Let me, let me, if you go to, uh, if you go to Google and type in Richie, R-I-C-H-I-E, huh? Are, are you talking to me? Mm -hmm. Are you awake? Oh, no. Are you on Google? Yeah. You sleepy? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I love you. I love that. Still need to do something about that in the new house. Let's put that thing wide open, baby. Gee. There was a tiger fruit guy that worked for the government, used finger, used the finger bullet. Well, I was killing Nico Robin.
Richie. Google Richie. R I C H I E. One Piece. And that's who I was thinking of. He was like a lion. Yeah, dude, like way early on. Yeah, like a long, long time ago. That's why I was saying like one of the first, like, not one of the first episodes, but like way, way early on. <clears throat> and I don't remember who it was, but um, somebody rode him. Like when he was, I want to, he was fighting somebody. I think he was running... I think he was chasing Nami, like, in the town. I think. Maybe not. I don't know. He was, like, chasing somebody and, like, fighting him. I don't think it was Nami, actually. But, uh, yeah. I don't know either. I can't remember. Oh. Oh, like you seen somebody writing him? Sneakers. <laughs> that, that's a good one.
Um, probably soon. I might just go to sleep because uh, tomorrow I plan on being on a long time. Shout out to my fingers. I can count on all of them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Maybe I'll just go to sleep now, and then uh, that way I can go to sleep and be up early. And yeah, what time are you going to be awake, man? Because I'll be on tomorrow. So I'll try to chill with you tomorrow. I don't have plans. Sounds good, man. Yeah, yeah, dude. We're like, we're like buddies. <laughs> we're like, we're like buddies, but not in real life. Too bad we're not best friends in real life, because I would definitely chill with you, bro. About noon, 11, your time. Okay, sounds good, man. Well, I will, uh... I've been up about... Cool. Sounds good. Well, I will talk to you later. And, uh, yeah, too bad we don't know each other in real life, bro. I'd just come over and chill. I'd live stream with you and stuff. <laughs> That's all. I am going to go back in our chat before I get off, just because I want to watch one video. I want to try to see that. What was that? Safe travel, Shadow Lord, Barragat, Keeper of the Bonfire, Leader of the Fire Watchers. Once I had a dream, I was floating in the ocean of orange soda. It was more... It was more of a fantasy. Fantasy? <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, man, you take it easy, and I will talk to you soon, buddy. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, and we'll chill some more tomorrow. See you tomorrow, man. Bye. <clears throat>